Hey guys, so I'm trying things a little bit differently today with my narrations. I'm uh, trying to use a screencast kind of method, um, because basically this battle was really long, so I had to speed it up, but if I sped it up, then I didn't think I'd have enough time to narrate everything, so I'm going to be able to work in pauses. So without further ado, let me go ahead and start the video. This is against Man of Steel 93, and it's probably the best battle I've had in Gen 5 yet. Uh, he posted his version to Pokemon Pick Beta and got like a ton of subscribers, so um, you should totally go check out his version of the battle. Um, so anyway, he leads off the Uxie, and I lead off with my Scarf uh, Rotom, and I go ahead and use Shadow Ball, hoping to and just suss out what his moveset is, and it does super effective damage, and I do get the defense drop. So he goes ahead and Thunder Waves me, which is, I figure it's kind of a dead giveaway that he's not running a Scarf set, because then he'd have to switch out. Although, he does switch out, but I think that was just because of the, um, defense drop, uh, the special defense drop, and he switches in his Fortress, who's going to take that Shadow Ball as if it were less than nothing. Um, and so I'm going to be forced to switch out here since I am um, Scarfed, although <laughs> I'm paralyzed too, so it kind of sucks that my uh, Rotom is crippled now. Um, I don't have a, um, a Cleric on this team. Anyway, I switch into my um, Magnezone, uh, which is my Steel Killer Magnezone, um, and I know that after the defense drop, I'm going to be able to Oko this guy with a Hidden Power Fire. Um, he, anyway, he gets off a layer of spikes, um, on the switch, um, but I've got enough po Pokemon that are in the air that I'm figuring it's going to be okay until I can get my spinner out. And so I go ahead and um, you couldn't power fire, that's more than enough to kill it, and I have one KO to, um, I got the first KO of the match. So anyway, I pull back Rota uh, Roomba here and send in my, um, <clears throat> my Don fan predicting a, an electric type move, um, and indeed he uses Volt Switch which is really great for me, and so I'm going to be able to set up my rocks uh, on his switch. I guess he's um, either spexed or scarfed as well. Um, and so anyway, I do set up my um, I do set up my rocks, and I really should have just stayed in rapid spin. Uh, instead, uh, I pulled back my Pokemon, figuring that he would attack me with a boiling water or something that I wouldn't like. Um, and so anyway, I go ahead and switch into my Dave, my uh, Ranunculus? I don't know. Anyway, unfortunately, uh, he tricks me and gives me his choice scarf, and I was like, oh, it was a scarf set, that's really interesting. But anyway, that's not good, because now I'm locked into Calm Mind, and I'm going to have to switch out, and that completely cripples my Ranunculus, so even though I have one KO and he has none, this is not a good battle for me, and I don't know who I'm going to have to take out uh, his, um, <clears throat> his Uxie, uh, but it doesn't matter, he's going to go ahead and switch him out anyway. It doesn't do any damage to me, but it does break my Balloon. Uh, oh, it's now called an air balloon. Yeah, so um, this is using an English ROM now, um, so all the attacks are going to be in English, uh, and yeah, um, in case any of you uh, do screencasts or do recorded battles, uh, if you have an English ROM, uh, your Japanese SAV file will be compatible, just so you know. Okay, moving on. Uh, yeah, so next out for him is a Latios, and I'm like, oh jeez, come on, but who's who better to take a, uh, a Draco Meteor than my Roomba? I'm not exactly sure why I subbed here. Um, but it was kind of a mistake. Uh, he sets up a light screen, um, which is, means that my attacks are going to do nothing. This is a pretty special team, uh, so I'm not thinking this is going to do well. It's really interesting that he used um, light screen, because I've never really seen uh, Latios do anything other than you know the standard offensive sets. Anyway, now that I have the sub, I'm going to go ahead and attack, um, and just until he breaks it. Um, because there's no point in you know me switching while I've got a sub up that's just wasted HP. So anyway, um, that Thunderbolt, even though it's resisted, is enough to break my sub, which makes me think that he's probably spexed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use um, hidden, power, uh, hidden Power here, and he goes ahead and call, uh, calls his Pokemon back. I'm not exactly sure why, um, but anyway, I go ahead and call back my Roomba, uh, and go ahead and send out my Peanut. Oh, that's why. He was predicting that. He was predicting my Switch, and predicted it very, very well. Um, yeah, you really should check out his battle because it makes it, he makes it very, very clear in his battle uh, just how amazing this guy is so much farther above my level in terms of Pokemon skill. Um, but so anyway, uh, I predict the Scald, part of the known as Boiling Water, and my Rotom takes that for nothing. And so I'm thinking I'm okay because he can't Toxic me um, because I'm already paralyzed. So I figure I can just go ahead and attack him. I'm actually predicting a switch right here, um, and I go for the Hydro Pump. Which sucks now, I'm locked into Hydro Pump, and he's now thanks to Protect, um, you know, he knows that, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch out, because there's nothing I can do. And I go ahead and send in my, uh, Leonculus, um, and he goes ahead and Toxics me, so that's actually really good. He was predicting my switch, um, but he wasn't predicting this switch, so that's actually really good for me, because, um, 
now I can't be put to sleep or paralyzed or anything like that. Um, and Magic Guard Pokemon don't take damage from that. So anyway, now this is a this is a standard wish set, and it's going to be the bane of my existence because he's going to, he's going to be able to heal up his entire team while I've got no one who can really take him out at this point. So he pulls out his Poly um, and sends out Yuxi to take the uh, wish. And that's going to recover him basically back to full HP. Anyway, I go ahead and switch here too. And I send in um, my Roomba. Uh, I really should have switched into my um, Rotom at some point, I think. But oh well, you know, hindsight is better than foresight. Um, but so anyway, he goes ahead and tricks me uh, again and takes my life orb. Uh, or no, I get I get a life orb. My balloon's gone. So he gives me a life orb. So at the time, I'm like, thanks, that's awesome. Now I'll actually be able to, you know, attack with some teeth. And look how much damage that does. I'm really impressed. Um, but the thing is, I'm going to be taking recoil damage on every turn. And so my Roomba's not going to be able to survive that much longer. Uh, there's a reason that the set doesn't call for life orb. So anyway, he switches in his lithium his um, Jolteon, and I'm just hoping that this uh, attack is going to be able to do a good amount of damage. And it does to get him down pretty low. He get, gets him down to the point where he can't switch out anymore. And so um, he goes ahead and uses Hidden Power on me, and I thought that it was super effective. I didn't see that it was not very effective. And so I was thinking it was Hidden Power, Ground, or Fire. Um, so big mistake on my part. I go ahead and send in my Peanut, and I really, really should have just Ice Shard this thing and killed it. But I didn't. Uh, really stupid. I think I used Rapid Spin because I wanted those spikes and rocks gone. But so it turns out it's Hidden Power Grass, and that's going to be super effective against me. Uh, and that's just off awful. Um, so I'm thinking actually that it was Hidden Power Water. I didn't figure it out at this point. Um, really, really stupid of me. So he's going to take out three of my Pokemon with Hidden Power Grass, basically because I mispredict or I, I didn't realize what that Hidden Power was. And that absolutely sucks for me. So anyway, I go ahead and send in my Reinkless, and I'm thinking I'm going to be able to take it out at this point. He's just going to stay in and keep attacking, and get off as much damage as possible. Um, but yeah, so Sucker Shock is actually finally going to kill it, and so I've taken out two of his Pokemon at this point. Which is good! Uh, I mean, it's good. Uh, it's just not great, because most of my uh, heavy hitters are now crippled. So anyway, he sends his Poly back out, and it's going to do Wish, and there's nothing I can do. Barring a crit, there's nothing I'm going to... There's no way I'm going to be able to kill this guy. It's running probably max defense, max HP, um, and this thing's going to be pretty much invincible, um, since now that I my electric types are dead. So that's really awful for me. Um, and, you know, protect stalling, you know, obvious strategy, but, you know, it's tried and true, it works. Um... Yeah, now he's back to pretty much full HP, and I just, I'm really thinking this battle is basically over for me. Um, <clears throat> I just keep on Psycho Shocking because I just have no idea what else to do. I'm just, I guess, hoping that he's going to kill me, or I'm hoping to get to a Struggle War. Um, I don't know. Uh, but he does end up pulling out his Vaporeon, and goes ahead and switches in his Latios, um, and it's going to recover back to full HP. Um, oh yeah, I switch out too, and I go ahead and switch into my Human, my um, Embor, uh, and I'm going to get damage from the spikes and the rocks, and that's not great, um, because my Pokemon really relies on its HP. Um, but so I'm really thinking, you know, I'm obviously not going to be able to outspeed it uh, at first, uh, but if I figure after a Nitro Charge I will be able to, and hopefully I'll be able to do some massive damage. Unfortunately, he set up a Reflect, um, which is going to mean my attacks are going to do nothing, even the ones that aren't resisted, like, uh, like uh, Flame Charge. Uh, yeah, no longer called Nitro Charge. Um, so I go ahead and use Head Smash, um, and I'm hoping that this do does a, a decent amount of damage, and it doesn't, it does nothing. Uh, and I'm like, oh, this is like, so bad. And so now he's set up his Light Screen, um, so no matter what I do, because I do carry Grass Knot on this thing, I'm not going to be able to do any damage to this guy. Um, so I keep on attacking with um, Head Smash, just hoping to get a crit or something, I have no idea. But anyway, he goes ahead and uses Draco Meteor, and that's going to easily kill me considering I'm not at full HP, and I think this might actually be a minus spec def, uh, spec def nature Pokemon. Um, I think it's I think it's hasty, uh, or naive, rather. So anyway, um, I'm hoping, I know that the light screen is up, but I'm still hoping that after a, after a Bug Jewel, I'm going to be able to, or sorry, Bug Gem. Uh, I'm, bug Buzz is going to be enough to take it out, and it looks like it is! And then I'm like, yes, yes, and then it's like, wait, Memento? What do you mean Memento? He's arrived with 7 HP if you look at his battle. And I'm like, oh jeez, seriously? And so now I've gotten Memento, which stinks to high heaven. But anyway, 
Um, I wasn't going to attack anywhere at this point, especially not against the Gyarados. So I go ahead and use Life Gambit, hoping that it's not running max HP. There's a slim chance that I'll be able to kill it. And so my Jane, my Selgor dies, and his Gyarados survives with enough HP to get off a um, waterfall. Or not a waterfall, a uh, dragon dance. So this is just awful, and I just... He's going to be able to sweep the rest of my team, I figure. So I go ahead and send in Dave, my Ramculus, and I go ahead and take the Waterfall. I think that I should probably be able to survive, and as long as I don't get flinched, I should be able to kill it. And indeed, I don't get flinched. I survive with just a teeny bit of HP, and I KO. So I've, I've gotten three KOs in this match. That's not bad. Um, but this is my last Pokemon, and he's going to be able to KO me with a U-turn. That's just the saddest thing ever. But that's the game, um, hope you enjoyed it, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and totally, definitely check him out, please, please do, he's amazing, that's, um, Man of Steel 93, yeah, so long folks.